Sickness Particles Gleam is the debut full length from Seraphic Entombment. This is a Birmingham, Alabama based death doom metal band. And I would say generally you could get away with calling them an atmospheric death metal band. And I think because there is that incantation esque cavernous feeling to their work, but it's not limited to that limited to that. And there is an extreme doom metal component here where some movements from like funeral doom and traditional doom metal do make it into their sound. They do hit pause once in a while and swing into a big riff here and there. And otherwise mid mid pace death metal is where a lot of their work gets done outside of the more uh, kind of showmanship that they put into some of the opening pieces on this record. So, so there's a lot of, I guess, uh, pedigree here in terms of members of who've been really effective in Ectovoid and more recently Exaggerate and a war metal band Hegemony, but uh, really think along the lines of Cruciamentum, Dysma, in terms of their general sound and their approach. So uh, the, the, the thing to note here is that the, the production values are very fine. These guys can certainly riff, and it's like you expect a good result from Ectovoid's camp and uh, you get that the the thing that stands out here is that the the drummer here is also the vocalist and he has this interesting inflection that carries throughout this record in terms of like zombie moans and things like that that are they're they're kind of cool it's kind of a weird thing but it fits this the, it creates some interest for this band so let's cut into a clip just to hear what they sound like <laughs> So, of course, I love bands like Crips and that kind of thing, and I don't think that this group is quite at the point of being that tactful. I think that there that a lot of these movements, especially the mid-paced death metal points, don't quite hit uh, in the way that, uh, that work in a profound way, but they certainly keep things moving throughout the full listen. For, for as long as these pieces are and as long as this album is at uh, just about an hour, they keep it going. And uh, all of it is up to par, up to standard, and some of it is even kind of moshable here and there so it's it's cool and i think that uh to hear it live would probably be the proof point for it but on record it's just uh mostly all pretty killer songs i think that uh carried by claws is, is kind of the big one for me but there are some other ones here that are uh pretty effective in terms of showing this new sound showing off a couple of different th ideas they had and uh seeing wh where they could go with it is kind of the, probably the big deal from this point so pretty straightforward thoughts for me. If you like death, doom metal, and you like a lot of atmosphere, these long songs and their you know, like involved structures uh, won't be too taxing. They'll they'll push it along for most listeners, and it'll be a pretty easy listen despite how long it is. So that's one of the reasons why it gets kind of a high score is that this was an easy thing to pick up and gel with. It was a, a like both straightforward but also you know curious and interesting at every turn as i was discovering it and i think the art curation and whatnot is all, is all very fine so uh check it out it releases this uh, friday and uh, go ahead and read the review for more of my thoughts <laughs> 